So in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, I don't have the foggiest idea. There's actually two forms of this phrase. You can say, I don't have the foggiest, or I don't have the foggiest idea. And it simply means that you don't know something. Let's imagine that Jen has lost her keys. She could say to me, hey Bob, have you seen my keys? And I could say, I don't have the foggiest idea where your keys are. That sounded kind of mean, didn't it? I would try to say it nicer. I don't, I'm sorry, Jen, I don't have the foggiest idea where your keys are. So again, you can say, I don't have the foggiest. You could just say, hey, I don't have the foggiest. Uh, or you could say, I don't have the foggiest idea. You can also say, I haven't the foggiest idea. Sorry, I just thought of that now. But the more common phrase in my area is to say, I don't have the foggiest idea. So if you don't know where something is, or if you don't know the answer, you can say, I don't have the foggiest idea. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase fog up. Because today, uh, what's happening here? Oh, my mask fell down here. Let me just grab that for a sec. So today at work, I needed to wear a mask. And as you know, sometimes I need to wear reading glasses. Uh, but sometimes, I don't know if you can see this, when you wear a mask and glasses, your glasses fog up. So right now I can't see out of my left eye because uh, my glasses are fogging up, or as you would say, my glasses fog up when I wear a mask. So if any of you have any suggestions, if any of you are people who are wearing glasses regularly uh, and you are wearing masks, and if you know how to prevent them from fogging up, if you could tell me how to stop my glasses from fogging up, I would really appreciate it. So to review, if you say I don't have the foggiest idea or I haven't the foggiest idea, it means you don't know the answer. And if something was to fog up, it means that it gets kind of some moisture on it, uh, especially with glasses and you can't see out of it. Sometimes in the morning, when you take a hot shower, the bathroom mirror will fog up. And sometimes when you get into a vehicle, when the temperature outside is different than inside the vehicle, the windshield can fog up. So um, do you know why I'm talking about fog? Because it's actually quite foggy right now. It's been quite foggy uh, all over Ontario the last little bit. Um, the weather is changing. So the ground is really warm. The river is really warm but the air is really cool and that starts to cause a lot more fog. So it's just been a lot foggier than normal. But hey, let's look at a comment. I've also lost that piece of paper. One moment. Everything, everything is blowing away today. <laughs> Anyways, this comment is from Famida and Famida says, all the best teacher Bob, wish you good luck for your first day of school in this pandemic. And my reply was, thanks, Famida. Um, so yes, thank you very much for those, uh, for wishing me well. That's very nice of you. Many of you in the comments the last little while have been wishing me well, knowing that I'm heading back to school. So again, yesterday was our first day of school. Uh, today, it's actually Wednesday evening right now. Um, I just finished my second day of school and it went really well. Um, I feel quite comfortable being in school. You know, I have my mask as I showed you. Um, we have to wear these disposable masks. I have to wear two a day and then I need to throw them away at the end of the day. Um, and the school provides them, thankfully, because I don't know if I could afford to keep buying masks every day. Um, and I think it's going to work. Uh, students seem to be quite respectful. Students are wearing masks. Students are staying socially distanced. So they're staying two meters apart or six feet apart. Uh, so hopefully we can all work together and make this work because I think school is super important. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned just a little bit of English. I'll see you tomorrow with another short English lesson.